so in this video I'm gonna be teaching you how to run a test run on any of um, the BLE module so here before us we have a BLE module 8009 um, we have a lot of BLE module BLE means Bluetooth low energy so 8009 is a BLE module HM10 is a BLE module um what's special about this the uniqueness about the BLE module is that they consume less energy they can be powered with just a small battery they don't consume much current that's the uniqueness about it and they are very efficient and not just that they are very efficient their bluetooth protocol is um Bluetooth 4.0 so they work with um, Bluetooth 4.0 version 4.0 so these are the most recent um, Bluetooth modules that we are beginning to have in the current times now one uniqueness about these BLE modules here that you're seeing here right now is that they work with a chip called CC2541 so this is the main chip this is the main brain this is the power of the module so when you pick a particular bluetooth module and it's cc2541 that is being used just be rest assured that it is a BLE module okay so let's begin uh, first of all I'm going to show you how to use a BLE module um, in Arduino IDE first of all I believe you are conversant with the USAT communication protocol so it's a serial communication protocol that it uses so for us to run this test what do we need what we need ah uh, we need an Arduino board this is an Arduino board we need our connecting wires we need our BLE module so that's the BLE I'm using right now it's 8009 looking behind it you can see so that's 8009 it has six pins it has six pins looking at it you can see that we have enable followed by VCC ground transmitter receiver and then your state the state pin here tells you if it is connected or not when it is a high it means that the Bluetooth is currently connected when it's a low it means it's not then the transmitter here and the receiver they are used for serial communication then the ground of course is there we have the VCC as you can see it is written on it 3.6 to 6 volts so any volt between 3.6 to 6 volt is enough to power this module and we also have the enable here okay so the TTL voltage for your serial communication it was written behind it 3.3 volt as you can see okay so our focus here is to use AT command to probably view the name even know the password if it actually has a password even know the board rate and other details we need to know about this model so to do that I'm going to first of all make my connection to the wire so I'm going to I like black color to be my ground so I'm going to put it on ground I'm going to use white here as my VCC the gray wire here as my transmitter then the wallet here as my receiver so I'm done with this as you can see I ignored the enable and also the state pin here so I'm using just four that's cool so I'm going to connect my ground to ground of my Arduino. Then connect my five volts to the VCC. Okay, so I have this the VCC is at ground. Then my gray color wire here is currently at the receiver 
so because I'm, I intend to communicate using serial communication I'm going to still place it at the receiver because I'm using the serial monitor of my Dino to communicate with it so don't forget that so the, the receiver goes to receiver the transmitter goes to transmitter that's when your focus is not to write any code on it I'm using my Dino board right now as a um, USB to TTL converter module so if you have a, an FTDI module it can also work fine for you so this is what I'm using right now the, the transmitter of this goes to transmitter of this which is at pin 1 the receiver of this goes to receiver of my Dino which is at pin 0 so that's what I have right now okay so I'm going to connect the cable to the system that I'm working with So I'm going to connect this. So right now it's connected. So let's view in our Dino end and see what happens. So I'm going to make sure that I'm connected to it. Good. You don't need to upload any code. All you need to do is to open your serial monitor here and it's open. Right now I'm currently on 9600 baud rate and um, this is default here. Okay. I'm going to open my serial monitor. You can see it instantly it shows an error. It's currently at 9600 baud rate and um, not by default is on carry return. So I'm going to test it by just typing AT then enter. Can you see? The Bluetooth module replied me with an OK. OK, so let's try other command. I'm going to test. I'm going to find out what the pin is. Good. So currently, I'm using the pin one two three four five six so this is the pin that we need to pair with the bluetooth i mean the password then another thing i need to check is the um what's it called the name so currently the name is samuel so i'm going to change it to i'm going to change it to robotics robotics so you just type name robotics so let's let's check it again 80 plus name good so the bluetooth name currently is robotics the password is one two three four five six and the board rate is nine zero zero when you try this board rate it doesn't work you can try keep trying you can try this one one five two zero zero keep trying one of them will definitely start responding so when you get this that means you already um, have a have a peer leader that works. So the next thing we need to do is to develop an app that will communicate with this BLE module.